Walther PPQ in 22 long rifle. First hundred. <laughs> Okay, so I probably should explain a little bit better. It may not be the very first hundred for this gun. In fact, I know it's not. So this gun's on loan to me from a friend of mine. Thanks, Charlie. Not only does he loan me really fun guns to shoot, he gives me lots of magazines that are already loaded up with ammo. So, uh, come on, people. The rest of you are slacking. 22. I hardly ever shoot 22, mostly because you can hardly ever find 22. I'm hoping that's going to change. I'm at 10 yards, by the way, shooting at that orange dot. This front sight is an orange dot. All you got to do is put the orange dot on the orange dot. I'm still shooting my buddy's ammo. Free gun, free ammo. That's what I'm talking about. Am I hitting the target? I can't tell. The holes are so small, I can't see them from 10 yards away. I'm used to those manly calibers where, you know, you just blow the target apart when you hit it. Man, I forgot how much fun 22 is. You just blow, you could blow through 100 rounds and not even bat an eye. So let's do that. Let's do it. So this gun feels a lot like its larger caliber brothers, and it ought to. It's the exact same frame, exact same slide. I shoot a 5-inch PPQ 9mm all the time in IDPA competition. So it's essentially that exact same gun. And the idea for why you might want one in 22 theoretically would be for you know a low-cost uh, trainer, but you know, we've had such a problem and such a challenge getting 22 ammo that <laughs> that excuse has kind of gone by the wayside. Just downright fun. And, you know, it's a nice way also to let the junior shooters in the family get out there and get some fun without all that sensory assault from some of the larger centerfire calibers. Okay, so I burned through pretty quickly the first 60 rounds that my buddy had already included in the magazines. Thanks again, Charlie. So now I have loaded it up with Winchester Super X, although it's in a pill bottle because when they came uh, in the shipment that I ordered, the plastic was all busted up. So, so there's a little trick for you. So if, you, uh, if your delivery of 22 comes in a busted up container, just put them in a pill box. Besides, it's good for what ails you. All right, let me shoot a little bit slow at 10 yards, got a one inch square. Let's see if I can put a couple holes in it. All right, gotta love 22. Maybe that's why I don't shoot 22 so often.
Looks like, looks like I'm hitting above, right? Pretty consistently too, so. Looks like this gun likes a six o'clock hold, at least at this distance. So I'm gonna, let me drop down a little bit more. Gotta love 22. Ah, nice double feed. Thank you. Doesn't seem to like this ammo as much as it was uh, liking that first stuff. Didn't have any problems with the stuff that uh, was loaded in it. It was a copper or a uh, complete lead. All right, woo! A tough magazine to get through. But the rest of them aren't like that. It is incredibly light gun. Sight picture is actually quite nice. The trigger feels just about the same as it does on the center fires. I think the uh, I think the reset feels like it's a little longer. Yeah, reset is definitely longer than it is on the center fires. It's got a decent looking feed ramp and the magazines are nice. Magazines hold 12 rounds, by the way, which is uh, nice. I bet that opened up the group, didn't it? <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, come on. <sighs> Maybe this Winchester is not, uh, not so great. So the PPQ in 22 long rifle, this is the first time I've had an opportunity to shoot one. I've never really pursued getting one because I've got two PPQs in nine millimeter and uh, one in 40 and one in 45. So it seemed kind of silly to get a 22, especially when you can't buy the ammo for it. Hopefully that situation is going to change, but it's a nice gun. It's light, doesn't feel like it weighs anything uh, compared to its center fire cousins. But uh, I like the sights on it. I wish they would put this sight pair on the regular PPQs. It's got a nice filament orange front and a nice blacked out rear. 
I've pretty much done that anyway to my competition gun, but when you buy the 22, they save you the trouble. Definitely makes a nice target pistol. I might slow down, pressure my target out there, slow down and see if I can uh, actually make this thing accurate. I'm gonna freshen up my target, maybe see what kind of a target pistol this is. Just 10 yards, maybe stretch it back a little bit for a few shots, but just offhand, see if we can put a nice tight group together. Okay, I switched over to CCI, standard velocity, full lead. This might be, this might be what Charlie had in the uh, magazines to start with. And that ran great, so. Getting away from the Winchester Super X, which was not doing well. So, just gonna go slow for 12 rounds and see what kind of uh, group I can put up top. My fresh spot. Six o'clock hold. So about somewhere between 150 and 200 rounds through the Walther PPQ, 22 long rifle, five inch, nice target pistol, feels great, feels just like my, my other Walther PPQs, which I like. It's always nice to have a 22 in the exact same platform as some of your center fire pistols. It does seem to like the CCI standard velocity ammo much better than it liked the Winchester Super X. Your mileage may vary. Heck, I, you know, I come back out here in two weeks with this same gun, my mileage may vary. So that's the nature of 22 long rifle, which is one of the main reasons why I don't usually recommend it to anybody as an actual defense round. Not so much because it's not lethal, because I'm sure not gonna stand in front of one, just because it's not reliable. But this is a nice gun. If you wanna have a 22 plinker or a trainer or just something to have fun with, let the kids have fun with, this is, probably as good a one as you're going to find. I'm a PPQ fan anyway. That's no surprise. That's no secret. So Walter did a great job giving us a PPQ and a 22 long rifle platform. An exact replica to the center fire pistol, only with better sights. Go figure. So here's the Walther PPQ 22 lying next to a real Walther PPQ. Can you tell the difference? It's not easy, is it? There are a few little hints, but they are virtually identical in size, shape, and design. And that is the exact purpose, of course. You want to have a plinker or a trainer that is identical to a competition gun or perhaps a carry gun. The 22 is up top. The 9mm is below that. These are both the 5-inch. The 9mm is the competition. It's my go-to competition gun. Many thousands of rounds through it and you can see that they are very identical in appearance. Uh, mechanically of course there are some significant differences. So I'm gonna put the the real one <laughs> in a real caliber away for a minute and we'll just focus on this guy. So you can see that he is in every way modeled after the full-size PPQ, the full-caliber PPQ, I should say, with some 
distinct differences. Number one, I mentioned out at the range, they already put a better sight on the 22 than comes on the 9mm. One of the other first hints is, you know, the magazine. If you drop the magazine right away, that's going to look a little skinny. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that doesn't hold real bullets. But you want to take it down, it's going to be a little bit different too because these takedowns are the same, located in the same place, and they are of the same design as the centerfire PPQ. However, you pull it all the way down and it stays, it's not spring captured like it is on the centerfire gun. Move the slide to the rear and then lift up. And then the slide will come forward and it will come off the fixed barrel. And we can take out the spring, which is fitted over the guide rod. Right? So the 22, like most 22s are, is a blowback design, not recoil operated. So it has a fixed barrel. The barrel does not come out, at least not as part of a field strip. So cleaning this gun is pretty straightforward. You want to get all the gunk out from around your barrel. You want to clean your bore. You want to clean the trigger group and clean the inside of your slide which is only a little bit dirty back here in the back and your spring and that's it so it's pretty simple and then to put it back I would go ahead and clean the gun but you know it's not my gun so I don't care if it's dirty basically you just reverse that process feed the spring into its housing there let the barrel go where it needs to go keep a little bit of an angle on the slide. Let it come forward. You'll see that barrel protruding. You know you're on the right track. Keep moving the slide back and it'll drop down. Okay, so there it is. And once more, here's a look at the Walther 22 PPQ versus Walther 9mm 5 inch PPQ. And they are, as the prosecutor in My Cousin Vinny says, identical.